TitleMatchNetwork.com. Um, what are your memories of uh, working with Jacqueline when she uh, became your manager? Oh, ja- Jacqueline, we, I thought we, you know, we did pretty good together. You know, it was, it was fun, and, and um, uh, she, she definitely wrestled good with, with Sable. Yeah. I mean, I mean, she did a good job of carrying her, you know? Yeah. And so did Luna. Luna did a great job, too. Yeah. Luna actually made her into a wrestler. You know what I mean? Really? Made it look at least believable where she, when she beat her, you know? Yeah. Well, what, what, was Luna good to her? Did she take liberties with, with Reno? Or? No, she, I never seen her take liberties with her. Yeah. You know? But she would, you know, she was just the frustration level because, you know, she's doing all the work to put her over and Reno's taking all the accolades for yeah. being a champion, you know? Wasn't there something, some some report or incident where Luna threatened to like hurt her or like threatened to cut her or something like that? Um, I think that was both of us. Oh. <laughs> I think she was, was going to beat up both of us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she probably could. <laughs> and I thought, I thought if I remember, and, and I'm probably wrong, but I thought if I remember that was kind of the tipping point for you guys, like with her threatening to like. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and then uh, her, her and her husband and me got into it one time in, in the lunchroom, and uh, he wanted to fight me, and it was just, it was just the point where this ain't fun going to work no more. Yeah. So what finally? What was the tipping point between you know with you and, and your ex wife? Was it Luna? Was there something else? The tipping point that you were just like, you know what, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was. <laughs> we were in England, <laughs> and someone pooped in her bag. Ah, uh, that's what I was referring to with the rig earlier. <laughs> okay. Yes. When you're going home with poop in your bag, you say enough. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. it just got the point where. Who wants to go to work when people just don't want to be around you or hate you? Yeah, you know? it wasn't worth it to, to us. Um, how, did, how did Vince react when you guys said, "You know what, we're we're done"? Uh you know, at that point, I don't think he cared because he, he, you know, it was just so much animosity with the whole thing, and I think he was ready to wash his hands of it too. Yeah. Um, Rena sued the WWE after you guys left. Um, do you think it was a fair lawsuit in retrospect? Um, do I think it's a fair lawsuit? Um, you know, when we looking back on it now, I mean, we everything that happened did happen. I mean, mm-hmm. she, she wasn't lying about the lawsuit. Those things, the things that she claimed, they did happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, should should anybody be subject to, to a work, working atmosphere like that? Yeah. No. No, did they, did they try to change it? Um, not not well enough, you yeah. know, because the same people were still there. So um, looking back, it was just the way it all worked out worked out fine. You know, nobody won the lawsuit. Yeah. Was, you know, we just washed our hands. Everybody went their own way, hmm. and then um, uh, Rena went to and we moved to L.A. and she tried to get into acting, mm-hmm. and um, then. Um, I became a babysitter. She went back to the <laughs> WWE. <laughs> so when when um when she went back to the WWE, were you still we guys still together or? Oh yeah. Okay, I thought yeah. so, but I wasn't <clears throat> sure. Yeah. So so wait a minute. So so take us through this. How does it happen where she says, "You know what, honey? Uh, you know, I, I think it I'm going to go back." It was basically when she first told me, my jaw dropped. Yeah. I was absolutely. St- Done when she told me that that day. I'll never forget. She said, um, "I have something to tell you." And I said, "Well, she goes, I called Vince." I said, "What?" Yeah. She goes, "I want to go back." I said, "Are you kidding me?" I was I was shocked. But when I realized that this is what she wanted, yeah. and it was a husband I supported her, and yeah. I said, "Go for it, huh?" And she went for it, and. Um, I, I watched Mariah while she was on the road, and uh, which was another tough thing, you know, because it was uh, really hard when we were both on the road, and then me trying to be, the, you know, Mr. Mom at home. Yeah. It was not working well, and then, um, you know, whatever happened on the road happened on the road, and uh, we ended up getting divorced. Yeah. But I got to say this, though. Um, we have the most uh, amicable divorce. Nobody, you know, we, we, we split our stuff. We, we went our own ways. Um, I'm so happy for her and her life and her new life. And uh, I couldn't be happier in my own life. So I yeah. have nothing bad to say about it. Yeah. You know? um, w- was it kind of, at the time, 
I mean, you, you, your first reaction probably had to be, so I gave up a guaranteed uh, three years and walked away, and now you're going back? <laughs> you know, I never, I never, I laugh about it now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I never, I never was angry about it or, you know, point my finger yeah. at anybody or, you know, I, I make a joke about it now, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Did you want to go back at all? Did no. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to poop in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to any of the tapings or anything with her and see and meet with Vince again? Or um, did you just stay completely away? I went to, uh, you know, when they came to Orlando or to uh, Daytona, I drove mm -hmm. to Daytona, went to one of the shows, went backstage and saw everybody. Yeah. I, th I, I remember at the time it was, it was kind of funny or ironic because the reaction, I think she did a bikini contest when she first came in with Tori Wilson. Right. And she was a lot more over than Tori Wilson and she was older and it probably wasn't the reaction, you know, that was uh, expected, but it seemed like the fans just absolutely loved her when she came it back. It was uh, amazing that they all, they, they, they opened their arms to her again, you know? So, and then she did, she did very well. Yeah. Um, you know, I have to ask you because, you know, we're doing a shoot interview here and, you know, it, it I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> there are rumors that when she came back that her and Vince had some kind of a fling or something, and then Brock kind of stole her from Vince. <laughs> I mean... You know what? First of all, whatever happened at WWF, yeah. I was going to watch the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no idea. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Like I said, you know... Um, Whatever happened in that <laughs> part, part of her life, only only she knows. You know yeah. what I mean? But um Have you ever uh, heard that before? I yes, I've heard okay. I've heard some crazy rumors, <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh you know, it was it was ironic though, because whatever happened and when, when once you know that that you know you're gonna be going your own way and you're not in love no more and yeah. you both make that decision, we actually walked into court hand in hand. Wow. We walked out of court after we signed our divorce. And I remember just hugging her and I just said, I really wish you the best. Wow. And she said the same to me. And we both have got tremendous lives. You know, we both have been remarried. Yeah. We both are um, very much in love with our partners now. And we both have um, careers. I mean, she, she's a mom now. Mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't be happier doing my, my program with, with the students. Yeah. And um, I'm just uh, just just happy for her, and, and I, like I said, that's why whatever happened, everybody can laugh about it. Because uh, yeah, you know. are you are you guys still friendly today? Or I mean, I've, I've never I've never spoken since we've been divorced. I've always seen her a couple times when she lived in Orlando, but I I have no contact with her anymore. Did you guys have children together? No. Or? Oh, never okay. Had any, never never had any kids. Okay, but Mariah, you adopted, right? Mariah adopted, yes. Okay. Um, did you ever meet Brock Lesnar? I mean, look. yes, I met him at Daytona. She introduced, <laughs> <me to him. laughs> she introduced me to him at Vince. No, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, you know, uh, Brock Lesnar, I mean, it's kind of a, a weird deal, you know, here, here's uh, this guy that's the size of a monster and all right. of a sudden, you know, he's now married to your ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> And he's one of, you know, and he's the UFC champion on top of that, you know? So I didn't get to say nothing bad. <laughs> <laughs> but if he knew you when you were 17. <laughs> yeah, he was like four. Yeah. <laughs> 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 TitleMatchNetwork.com.